Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are updating the very first video in our VR tutorial series, which is how to make a VR app in 15 minutes. We've just made the upgrade to Unity 2018, so this video is going to go through the process of setting up VR again. I started by uninstalling both Unity 2017 and the Android Studio 162. Once they were gone, I installed Unity 2018. Make sure when you install that the Android build checkbox is marked, because by the end of this tutorial, we are going to install our first VR app to our Android smartphone. After you install Unity, you'll need to prepare it for building to Android devices. In order to do that, we are going to need to download the new Android Studio. For this tutorial, we are moving from version 162 to version 173. Go ahead and download and install it. Now, once your Android Studio 173 is finished installing, it's going to want to go ahead and open. Let it open, create an empty project, and then let it do its install thing. This usually takes a while, so be prepared for a bit of a wait. All right, now that we've got Android Studio uh, installed, it is time to jump into Unity. I have gone ahead and started a brand new project, so here we can see we've got a completely empty scene. Uh, in order to make this work for Android, we need to set up a few things first. Uh, the first of which I would set up would be your external tools. So go Edit, Preferences, External Tools. Okay. Now, when you install Android Studio, it will go ahead and add these three lines to your external tools, tools window. Uh, so if you don't see them in here, that is why. Uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that everything is pointed in the right direction. Uh, so you are looking for a specific file. So I will show you what that is. Okay, you want to go C, C Drive, Users, Your Profile, and then App Data. Uh, if you don't have app data visible, go up here to your file menu, hit view, and check hidden items. So if you see when I click that, it disappears. So anyhow, here we go. Go into app data, local, and Android. Okay, so this is where I've wound up putting everything that is appropriate to this, because this is the folder that's created by the Android. Now, <clears throat> Android Studio. Now, when you're doing the JDK, that, that is very simple. All you have to do is hit download and then pick the appropriate uh, JDK. Uh, it's the one for Windows 64 for us. Uh, and for the NDK, uh, the NDK is a little bit more difficult. Uh, what happens is Android will install uh, NDK 17. All right, and we need NDK 13. So when you click this download button, it's going to download this zip file for you. And I went ahead and put my zip file inside of this uh, Android folder, unzipped it, and here it is right here. So there you go. So when you hit browse, you are literally inside that folder. So here's our folder right there. We click on that. This is the one we want highlighted. Hit select folder. And there you go. It's very straightforward. It is a little complicated when it comes down to this NDK, but it's not, uh, it's not impossible. So if you have any questions about that, just leave them in the comments below. Let's go ahead and close that down and never speak of it again. All right, the next thing we want to do is come in here to our build settings. Now we are going to be using Android, so go ahead and click on Android. Click on Switch Platform. All right, there we go. Now click on Player Settings. Player Settings will come up over here. <clears throat> There's another way to get to Player Settings, and it is to go Edit uh, Project Settings Player. Boom. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to change out our default company to an actual name. These are things that will hang up your build. So, yep, product name, just to test, that works for me. Um, let's see. Let's find something. Here we go. So, I like to have an icon. It works better that way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here we go. Package name. This is the next thing we need to change. 
and product name, huh? Just a test. And here we are, the minimum API level. So the minimum that we can get away with is actually KitKat. Right here, boom, level 19. All right, and then we have to set up VR. So or ordinarily you would have found it right here in 2017, but they've deprecated that and built us this. XR settings, there we go. So click on virtual reality supported and then click on the plus. So it still works the same way. It's just in a different area now. So cardboard. Excellent, so that should be good there. Now, before we actually build this, uh, let's kind of beef up this scene a little bit and let's use some of our Google VR stuff to, uh, to explore. So here, we'll put that down for just a second. I am going to <clears throat> uh, create some objects. There's a cube and a sphere. Okay, and Let's make sure our camera, we're going to make sure that is in the right spot, it's zero, so it is zeroed out. Drag that sphere out of that cube, and move it forward. There we go, we've got a sphere, hit control D to duplicate it, and then move that other sphere over, and control D again, and move another sphere over here and push it up. There we go. And grab the other one and kind of, there we go. Move it forward and do the same thing for our cube. So this is basically just to let you guys know that if you want to make something, it just comes down to actually making it. So now you have no excuses. You know how to make stuff. All right. There we go. Okay, now that we've got our little scene going on, uh, let's go ahead and download our uh, Google stuff. So we're going to go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. Now, I've got it sitting on the desktop for us right here. It is Google VR for Unity 1.170.0, and you can find the link to that below. So we are going to open that. Okay, so ordinarily you would just want to grab the things that we're using, uh, but there are some really cool stuff. There are really cool things in the demo, and I highly recommend exploring this um, because, I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. Uh, but for now, we are only going to use two of these things, but we're going to import all of them. That way, we don't have to import all of them later. Excellent. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do first is let us go ahead and give ourselves a reticle so we can always see which direction uh, we are looking. Uh, that would be GVRR. So we're going to grab this GVR reticle here <clears throat> and drag it right onto the main camera. There we go. And now, if we were to hit play, we should be able to see a tiny white dot in front of us. We can't because... There is stuff in the way. Let me grab this. There we go. There there you go. You can kind of see it in the shadow of the sphere right here. Okay, so uh, what would be better is if we could actually look around inside our viewport without having to build. If you wanted to build, right now you could build this and it will work in your phone and you could put it in your, you know, little cardboard headset and look around and that's great but what if you're testing you want to be able to use this while you're testing so we are going to find GVRE the GVR uh, editor emulator and we're just going to drop this in here it doesn't need to be parented parented or the child of anything it's just here and it is going to give us some cool uh, tools okay so or controls, I should say. So if you alt and move mouse, you can change your yaw and pitch. And if you control and mouse move, you can change your roll. So what that means is now we can hold down the alt button and look around. Excellent. 
and we can also hold down the control button and tilt our head back and forth and that, that controls the roll. There we go. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and build this thing and see what we got. So I'm going to go to build settings and everything is still good here and we are just going to hit build oh before you hit build i uh, if you've been following along you don't really need to worry about this the ordinary scene the very first scene is already going to be here in your build but if you have multiple scenes and you're going to be jumping around between all of them you need to make sure you add your open scenes to this box here so just if you're on something, you just hit open scenes, and then it would add whatever scene you are in into the build. Okay. That means, like, if you want to test just a certain scene, you know, instead of having to go through the entire game to get to that scene, you can publish just that scene. So, anyhow, build. All right, I'm going to put mine on the desktop because it will make it easier. Uh, just a test. Okay, and save. This is going to take a minute, so we are going to fast forward this again. Okay, here it is. Ta-da! In order to test out your app, you're going to need to make sure that you have unlocked your phone's developer options. So, if you haven't already done so, go to your phone settings, click on About Device, and then click on Build Number 7 times. So just follow the prompts and now your developer options should be accessible. Okay, connect your phone to your computer and choose transfer your files. From here, all you need to do is add your new APK to your phone. I usually add all of my builds to the same cardboard folder. Okay, so open your phone's file manager and find your APK. Select it and install it. When it's done, it's going to ask you if you want to open the app. Go ahead and open it, and you should now be able to see your first VR app. Congratulations! Well, my friends, I hope this has helped you make the upgrade to Unity 2018. I covered all the hiccups that I ran into, but if you uncover any of your own, uh, be sure to leave them in the comments below. On the next VR tutorial, we are going to interact with our new world using the GVR graphics raycaster. Possibly by making a simple photo wheel app type thing. So, anyhow, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video.